In this video, we're going to take a close look at the ShareX image editor. This is actually a standalone editor called GreenShot, which has been built into ShareX. GreenShot image editor is a free open source image editor that was incorporated into the ShareX screen capture program. This editor is versatile and very easy to use. Let's take a look at all of the major features, starting with just a bird's eye view. The menu at the top has all of the basic features for a menu. You'll find the File tab. Here is where you can save your work. Work can also be saved by clicking this icon. The Edit tab allows you to undo, redo, delete, copy, and paste. Short codes are listed to the right side of the drop-down menu. There is also the Object tab. This tab opens a drop-down menu that allows you to draw six different types of objects. Rectangles, ellipses, lines, arrows, freehand, and text boxes. Depending on which object you're working with, on the top horizontal bar, you'll find some effect modifiers for each of the object drawings, including object color, border size and color, and more. The object tab coincides with six icons here on the left. Each of these functions has a short code associated with them. Using these short codes can save considerable time when you're creating objects. For instance, all you have to do if you want to create a text box is press the letter T on your keyboard. When you do this, your cursor is ready for you to click and drag out a text box. After you click and drag out the text box, you can edit the box and type in your text. For any type of object, activate the tool using either a short code, the object menu tab, or the icons on the left, and then left click, hold and drag the object to the desired size. Now let go of the left click and you have a new object. The highlight tool is a straightforward tool that will prove very useful. Activate this tool by clicking on the icon to the left or by hitting the letter H on your keyboard. Once active, left click and hold, drag the highlight to the desired stopping point and then let go of the left click. Now you can modify the highlight by dragging the edges and playing with them until you've got the right effect. The next tool is the Blur tool. You can activate this tool using the left navigation icon, or you can hit the letter O on your keyboard to activate it. Once activated, it works exactly the same way as the highlight tool. On the top navigation, you can modify the blurred object in a couple of ways. The Effects tool allows you to quickly create five common effects – borders, drop shadows, torn edge, grayscale, and invert. The next tool is the Crop tool. This tool allows you to crop an image that you've pulled into the editor. It can be activated by hitting the C key on your keyboard. Once it's active, it works the same way as the Highlight tool. Just left-click and hold drag to the desired position for cropping and let go. When you let go, the area selected will be highlighted. At this point, you can resize and modify the box. Once you have the crop the way that you want it, click the green check that's furthest to the right. This confirms the adjustment and modifies the image. If you click the green check on the left, it will actually close the editor and you'll lose the crop that you've just attempted. The final two icons are the Rotate Clockwise and the Rotate Counterclockwise. These two simply work by clicking the icon until the image is in the desired position. Throughout this video series, you've learned how to utilize all of the features and tools found within the ShareX program. The ShareX screen capture tool should prove itself to be very useful for your work online. Please feel free to post your questions or comments about ShareX below.